Hello there, this is another tutorial uh, walkthrough. I'm just going to demonstrate um, using P um, PHP to drive automated testing of web front ends using Selenium. I didn't know that you could do it with PHP until this holiday, um, which is great because I love using PHP over writing the tests in uh, Java. So here we go. This is going to be from scratch uh, using a completely new install of Ubuntu desktop, right? So you don't have to have anything loaded already. So I'm just going to walk through. All right, so I'll put up a terminal and let's download uh, Selenium, all right? This will allow us to turn, to enable a Selenium server that will be being driven. You don't have to really understand it, you just have to run it, all right? So I'm going to download and install PHP and its necessary packages. Uh, these packages will be used by the web driver later, so that's why we're not just installing PHP 7, but the zip and curl. All right. Um, we'll also need to install Composer. I've hopefully got a link right there. So now you can just do it using these two commands, which is great. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and cool. So that's that. And then wait for that to finish. I forgot to mention it's probably a good idea to do all this in a folder. So I'm gonna that Selenium thing I downloaded earlier. I'm gonna do this all on the desktop real quick. Uh, ah, Selenium. All right, cool. So there's a Selenium folder I'm working with, it. so I'm gonna redo that. I'm gonna download the Selenium tool. I've already installed the packages. I'm gonna now I'm gonna install the web driver, helpfully made for us by Facebook. Good old Facebook. Uh, and then, oh, we'll have to install Java if you haven't already got Java installed. So I'm just gonna run this one. Chances are you probably already have Java installed. Uh, da -da -da -da. So I'm now going to run, we downloaded this in the very first step, I'm now going to run it with pass through false. And then uh, you can either install the Chrome driver or the Firefox driver. Considering I've already got Firefox installed, I'm just going to use the Firefox driver. So my tests will automatically run using Firefox browser instead of Chrome. You might want to do both, it's up to you. Um, so I'm just going to download this. Oh, I've, I've got, got Selenium running, so I'll just do it here. See desktop Selenium. I'm going to download the Firefox driver, and then I'm going to extract it. It's called Gecko, and then I'm going to move it to my user bin area. Right. Cool. And then I've got this little script here to demonstrate writing your Selenium tests. Um, so we, we want to be able to show something. I'll just run through it real quick. We're including the Facebook driver for using Composer Auto Loading. We're going to connect to our local host, which is running the Selenium driver, as seen here. This is still running. Uh, I use Firefox is set to true, so we'll use the driver from here. If you want to use Chrome, you just set that to false. And you use it, and it would go through here, right? Obviously, you would have to install the Chrome driver and install the Chrome browser. Um, and then all I'm telling it to do is go to Google, and then it's going to find the search box, which I I get by um, ID, and that's the ID of the search box. I'm going to click it first, and then I'm going to just so if, obviously a computer wouldn't need to do this, but I'm going to sleep, and then I'm going to um, put in a search term of programs to Selenium, which nothing will appear yet because I haven't posted this tutorial, then sleep, and then it's going to click on the button to search. All right, so that's the little script. Um, if you want more information on how to write the tests yourself, I recommend going to the first resource, and there's a whole wiki here, which is brilliant. Um, so there's that. Yep, so I've got, got to copy this script. 
Uh, I'm going to call it my test.php, right? And then I'm going to execute it. And here we go. All right. Firefox is opened up. Google is opened up. We're going to go to the search. It types in program Solarium, and it's done a Google search. All right, so hopefully that was a useful start to using Selenium with PHP to drive it. Um, yeah, I hope you keep tuned. Bye-bye.